everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I want to go over the layers of the meninges. But what in the world are the meninges? Well, they are a three protective layer that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord. And what they do is they work to cushion, hence pad, and protect our central nervous system. Now, unfortunately, these layers can become inflamed. And whenever they do, they can lead to serious complications that you're gonna see in a patient who has meningitis. And to help you remember those layers, remember a mnemonic I created called PAD. And how this mnemonic will work is that P is gonna start with that inner layer, and then once we get to D, we're talking about the outer layer. First up is the pia mater. This is the innermost layer. And pia actually comes from Latin and means tender, delicate. So this layer is very tender and delicate. And what it does is it sticks directly to our brain and spinal cord. And it's highly vascular, so it helps deliver nutrients and oxygen to our CNS. Next is the arachnoid mater. This is our middle layer. And the word arachnoid comes from Greek and is associated with spider-like. So what's one thing that we all associate spiders with? Creating web-like structures. And that really helps describe this layer. So this layer is a thin web-like layer that has these web-like fibers called trabeculae that extend down into that innermost layer, the pia mater. And it's going to help form a very important space I want you to remember called the subarachnoid space and this space is going to contain our cerebral spinal fluid our CSF and you really want to remember about CSF because that is one of the things that we take to help diagnose a patient with meningitis and then lastly we have the dura mater this is the outermost layer now to help you remember this layer think of the English word durable that means strong and tough that really describes this layer it's a layer that's extremely strong and tough and you're going to find it just below the skull bone now above this layer is a special space called the epidural space and then below this layer is the subdural space and you may hear epidural and subdural related to hematoma and that is why is talking about whenever we're talking about the hematoma because a hematoma is like a collection of blood outside of those blood vessels so a pocket of blood and here you can see an example of those epidural hematoma we have that pocket of blood that's hanging out just above that mater and then the subdural hematoma is hanging out below that mater in that space okay so that wraps up this video if you'd like to watch more videos in this series you can access the link in the description below